afternoon, welcome to the Edinburgh Casting Studio for another live demonstration. This week we're going to show you how to make a beautiful creative casting. We asked you to vote for which one you wanted to see and you voted for this lovely thing. It's our beautiful Love Heart Light hand cast and we're going to show you exactly how you can make that. Also, I did promise you a, a special code, 10% off all of our kits until midnight, autumn 10, Pop that in when you order your kit or kits, brilliant Christmas presents, and you'll get 10% off your order, but only until midnight. So go to our website, www.edinburghcasting.com. Okay, so we're gonna make this beautiful thing, um, and there are a few important things to remember. So the first thing is we need to create a gap where that lamp is going to sit. You need to hold something into the alginate in order to do that. And there are a few important things to remember about the sort of object that you're going to hold. We would recommend using something flexible. So I've got a piece of foam here. Um, a bit of polystyrene would also work. We did try using this little Tupperware because we thought that's plastic. We'll be able to get that out. It was a fail. We broke the hands trying to get them off that. So don't try that at home. Um, but hopefully you've got a bit of polystyrene or something flexible like this. You're going to have to cut it to the same shape as the object that you're going to be holding in your hands. It might not be this little lamp, it might be something similar. But just draw around that, cut it to the right shape. The other important thing, it needs to be the same width. If you make it too narrow, that's not going to sit in to the gap that you leave. Okay, so we've got our foam. We've cut it into a heart shape and I've covered this with packing tape. The reason I've done that, if you don't cover it with something smooth and waterproof like this, it will get stuck to the plaster. When you pour the plaster into the gap that your hands leave, it will get stuck to that foam. You'll spend ages picking bits of foam out of those hands, and trust me, we've tried it. So we've got our heart-shaped piece of foam, um, and the thing that you need to make sure now is that you've got the right sized bucket. So this is our couple's bucket is probably going to be too small for this particular cast. So if you're going to be holding it like this and you try and dunk that in, I'm stuck. My hands are stuck. I mean, my hands are big. I talk about my big hands regularly, um, but I think most people's hands would struggle here. So we're not going to use that one. We've got a much bigger bucket here. That's our family bucket. And if you use the family kit with the instructions, you get the right amount of alginate. Um, and the right size bucket to be able to make this kind of creative casting. If you're just joining us and you're waiting to find out what our discount code is, it's autumn 10. We're giving 10% off all of our kits until midnight. Um, and if you're not sure what we're doing, we're just about to show you how to make a beautiful love heart light casting. So I need somebody in to do the casting and you're going to get the hands in the right shape first. So remember, that's what we're aiming for. So you're going to hold it upside down. That's the back and that's the front. And we're going to practice. Does that go nicely into that bucket? Yes, it does. Bigger hands might struggle. These hands are nice and small and they fit in there very, very nicely. OK, so we're going to now mix the alginate. Bigger kit than normal. I don't think I've showed you a family kit mix before. So more water than for a couple kit, obviously and more alginate. I've got three bags to get in this time so I'm going to go nice and quickly. I've got my electric mixer as usual, make sure that's ready to go and three bags of our special recipe alginate. As usual I'm going to pop in a bit at a time so it doesn't all fluff up. It's going to get a bit noisy but I've got about a minute to get this mixed so I'm going to crack on. Here we go. Half at first. <laughs> Turn it off so it doesn't splatter everywhere. And I'm just getting it under the surface before I put the next bit in. I'm not worrying about it being fully mixed yet. Don't panic. Just make sure you're prepared. Still got a bag 
have to go, but it's all good. It's not turning white yet, so we're okay. Final bit going in. I'm going to get that off the surface and really go for it with high speed. In we go in the position that we've practiced down to the bottom this is actually going to rest on the bottom the flat side of that heart is going to sit quite comfortably at the bottom which might make it a little bit easier to hold it in position for the two or three minutes it's going to take to set in here okay while that's setting just to remind you here's your special discount code autumn 10 10 percent of all of our kits wonderful presents for christmas Thanksgiving to our customers in America. The lovely family kit would be perfect for the dinner table. Um, you can make a lovely centerpiece. Okay, a few words about this casting. You could make this with a partner's hand. So it doesn't have to be just your own two hands. It's a lovely sort of gesture of love. So it could be you and your partner, one hand each, or as we're doing it, just both of your own hands holding it. But remember, if you're doing this on your own, you're going to have trouble getting those out. So do have somebody on hand to help you hold that bucket when those hands come out. Otherwise, you're going to be jiggling around trying to get them out um, on your own. Also, get somebody else to mix the alginate for you. It's quite time sensitive. If you're trying to get it mixed, like I've just done, and get your hands in all in roughly a minute, um, it really does help to have somebody else there to help you do it. Um, this technique will work for other types of casts. So, it's not only this little lamp that you can make in this way you can make a really lovely little photo holder so we've got a little photo here if you imagine that you found a piece of foam that was the same sort of size and shape as this frame and held that into the pot or it could be portrait piece of foam about this height and then when you take that out you've got a really lovely personal photo holder a lovely gift for somebody um, who loves your hands, maybe. Another idea, and this is a candle holder that we've made with our couple's kit. You could use um, a jam jar or a, a tin with a bit of tape wrapped around it to create the gap that that candle sits in. But in actual fact, you can also use a candle because a candle has got that nice waxy surface. They do slide out quite well, um, unlike the foam that could get stuck. That's not going to get stuck in the plaster. So word of warning if you do try that wait until those plaster hands have really set hard because they can be a little bit fragile first of all before they're fully dry and when you're trying to pull that out you could accidentally um, snap a finger off heaven forbid so if you're just joining us and wondering what we're doing we've got two hands holding a heart-shaped piece of foam in this bucket that foam that we've wrapped up with tape we're going to be making this this is the piece that you voted for a really beautiful casting that's decorative for your home. If you've got any other creative ideas for castings that you'd like to see us demonstrate, if you've got an idea and you think, well, how would you do that? Send it in to us. We love hearing from you in the same way that we love seeing your results. So that's the one that we're making today. We also gave you the option of um, a hand cast holding a light bulb um, and the candle holder, the family candle holder. They're all things that we would be very happy to show you. So just let us know. Let us know what you'd like to see. It's also really important that you go in from directly above. That's a very so good that point. So it stands nicely when you pour the plaster. Thank you very much. I've forgotten to tell you that. That's right. If you cut, if you are leaning in at an angle rather than directly above the bucket, it's not going to stand up properly. You do want it to sit flush on the table. 
So the angle of the wrist is incredibly important. Thank you very much, Hans, for okay. reminding me <laughs> of that. Okay, I think that's set actually. Yeah. So we're going to take the hands out now. This is where you do need an extra pair of hands to hold on to this. And remember, you're leaving that piece of foam in there. Don't try and pull that out. Here we go. They've slipped out nicely. You notice that we didn't actually use baby lotion this time. That's because she hasn't got particularly hairy hands. But hairy <laughs> hands, it would make sense to just lubricate them a little bit. Right, I'm going to show you inside there now. Okay, that's the gap where the hands were. There's the foam that's wrapped in packing tape. The next stage would obviously be to fill that with plaster. It's not the most scintillating viewing, mixing the plaster. It takes about five minutes. All the directions for how to do that are in our instructions booklet. It involves a bit of tapping, a bit of rolling, getting the bubbles out. Um, as I say, it takes a good five minutes, not particularly good to watch. Um, and then you'd have to wait a good half an hour until we could show you the reveal. So here's one we made earlier. Exactly the same way. We're not cheating. These really do work. You tell us all the time these really do work. We see your beautiful results. Um, and I'm going to show you how this comes out. So tip it up. Made a bit of a mess as usual. Make sure you've got something white clean when you're doing one of these castings or some newspaper. Okay, and I'm just going to go in, make some dinks. You know you love the big reveal. We do too. And I'm just going to start peeling away this alginate. I'm going to pop it in my bucket as I take it off. And then we'll show you how this is going to work when you take that piece of foam out. I hope it works. So the alginate's coming away nice and easily, as you can see. We're looking for some fingers. There we go, that's our first finger. It is quite magical to see your own hands being revealed. We know you absolutely love it too. This is the back. So the, the front is where we've got the thumbs, but I'm going to release it at the back first. That's lifting out really nicely. Okay, so that's the back. These bits will all peel off. Quite nice picking the little bits out. I don't bore you doing that now, but you do get a little tool in the kit. Quite therapeutic to sit and pick these little bits of alginate out between the fingers. But I'm going to turn that round now to see what's happening at the front. Be careful not to go in too hard and snap anything off if you've got fingers poking up I'm being quite bold with the amount that I'm taking off here because I've done it once or twice before okay. so and there's the front take that little bit off and when we tried this earlier it slipped out a treat Oh, there we go. And that has slipped out the treat. Got some little bits of alginate inside. There's a little bit of texture there from the cellar tape that was on here, but that's the inside. It's not a problem. You're going to have a lamp in there. You can do a little bit of tidying up, um, gently picking little bits of alginate out like this. And let's see if that fits. There's the light in the hands, and there is your creative hand cast heart lamp. Beautiful thing, I hope you agree. Um, and really is as easy as that. If you follow those top tips, this video will also be available later. So if you just caught the end of it, go to our Facebook page, you'll be able to see the whole demonstration. And just one final word that code, Autumn 10, to get 10% off your casting kit if you're feeling creative and you want to make one of these beautiful creative castings, head to our website, www.edinburghcasting.com to make one of these 
or just a beautiful hand cast or a family cast or baby feet or a dog paw. You get the idea. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed our live demonstration and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.